Former coordinator of intelligence agencies, General David Sejusa, has claimed that police are training several groups across the country to suffocate the opposition ahead of the 2016 general election. And it's not only the youth. Some criminal elements, as we speak now, are training groups even in villages. Uh, like akin really to like you used here in Rwanda. The but Inspector General of Police General Kale Kaihura dismissed the claim saying there was no such plan. Which group of people were letting me show them to us? You know some of these people are just making reckless statements. Which, which people are training? Let him show them to us. I'm the IGP. The, the only, if he's talking about crime preventers, it's an open system. We are training crime. We are arming the population. We are, we are training the population to protect themselves. While visiting the Conservative Party head office in Namirembe, Kampala, in his ongoing engagement with political parties, General Sejusa warned government that it was taking a dangerous path. I want to know the political forces and the democratic forces to know that what they are facing is not, not, is not only political pressure, but it is a criminally well thought out infrastructure. Shortly after Sejusa's allegations, General Kaihura, while addressing students at YMCA in Wandegea, Kampala, revealed that President Yori Museveni had directed him to begin arming civilians, especially students, in institutions like universities. Uh, he has now, well, the strategy is really the time-tested strategy of arming the people, arming you, arming you, and he has given us directives uh, and which we are now working on, we shall come to consult you, how we do it, for example, here, how do we train the students and arm you. Perhaps reflecting on the recent terror attacks on Garissa University in Kenya that left over 140 students dead, General Kaihura stressed that the system would help fight terrorism and boost security in the country. General Kaihura warned those planning demonstrations like in Burundi that they would meet a ready police. We, I belong to the generation of your fathers, and we are passing on the mantle soon. You always say, oh, bagende, bagende, bagende. No problem, you get now you shall go on our own steam. Nobody is going to force us. The police chief said the constitution empowers the police to arm Ugandans if need arises. Shilat Simem Gisha, NTV.